prior experience. Um, um, in terms of uh, just uh, you know, taking another route, and um, I mean, I'm just really grateful because uh, um, the people that I have around me, I have a great uh, support system. Um, I'm at Proactive in uh, Santa Ana, and Athletes First, and and able to doing that, I've been able to really just up my game in terms of uh, of being a pro, and uh, throughout the whole year, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very hard to to, to watch and, and sit out. Um, just being a competitor, but I'm really grateful because I got to watch um, my, my teammates and everyone uh, do their thing. And at the same time, I was able to, to really just to find another uh, another gear in, in myself and, and um, you know, be able to up my game um, with uh, the just everything that I'm doing in terms of workouts and uh, just the, the different coaches I have and um, just the surrounding uh, just just everyone that's surrounding me. So I'm just really grateful and I'm, I'm, I'm so blessed for the opportunity. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to be in the NFL and have, uh, and yeah, so. Good, um, thanks. Uh, Jay, we'll go to questions now uh, from the media. We'll start with uh, Mateus Arnelis. Jay, Mateus from Time of Brazil. Congratulations for going for the, the NFL draft. Uh, after you opt out, like you have the, the chance of like having the pro day for show for where everybody, what you're like, how you're written of game. So how is important was the pro day and how do you think that it's going to work for you for the NFL? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, in terms of it, uh, I mean, obviously we were, we we're getting ready for uh, this, uh, this pro, uh, upcoming pro day. And for me, it's, 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 it's a lot because uh, I put in a lot of work. And um, in terms of just showing who I am, and I want to prove uh, to, I guess, just everyone that I've I've gotten better, you know, over uh, over this time, and I've I've been able to elevate myself in terms of who I am, and I'm faster, stronger, and uh, you know, just better in terms of everything that I, I have uh, 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 coming into it. So I'm just really grateful for uh, this opportunity that's that's going to happen, and also for all my teammates because I know they've been working really hard. And it's just uh, it's 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 gonna be a good day to to show out and and just to show uh, everything that I've been doing. So okay, we'll go to Nick Hamilton. Hey Jay, congratulations on getting to this moment. Um, wanted to ask you, what are some of the lessons that you've learned uh, while being at USC that prepared you for moments like today or or upcoming moments? Yeah. Um, lessons that I have learned is uh I've learned so many um and it's it's always uh in terms of it the, the biggest one is just patience um I came in as a uh, as a five star and um I, I redshirted and uh that really taught me how to to be patient and and to know that you know you're able to take something else and and really uh key in on it and um become something greater than than you could ever imagine and uh this is what this year has become and um it's really proven that and uh, I'm so grateful because um, everything that I've, I've worked on and every, every all the, everybody at SC, um, they all believe in me. They they all you know everyone is all they all have my back. So uh, I mean it's just you know patience and uh, just you know just hard work and that's that's literally it. Okay, uh, next up is Ryan Young. Jay, just kind of take us back through that thought process when you did decide to opt out. What advice had you gotten about maybe where your your draft stock stood at that point and, and why you felt uh, we're making that decision? Yeah, I mean, in, in terms of it, uh, it wasn't um, it wasn't really the, you know, like, like, uh, sorry, what you said about uh, the draft stock. It was more like um, things that happened uh, that I was out of my control um, in terms of just my family. Um, uh, COVID really affected my whole family and my sister, especially. Um, she ended up being in the ER and was basically on on, on her bed. And um, everyone around me, um, basically, uh, I was able to speak to them, and, and they really, um, really were were uh, counseling me the right way in terms of uh, having this opportunity and knowing that, and also just believing in myself and knowing what, what I I'm able to do, and knowing that um, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability, and and I'm going to show. Um, everybody that I'm able to to really be a pro and and to come out and and to show what I can do, 
And uh, throughout this process, it's just really taught me how to, you know, just, just believe in yourself and, and, and to no matter what, work hard and, uh, and uh, in the end, it, it, it will come and it will show. And, um, you know, just talking with all these coaches and everybody, I mean, um, they, they speak nothing but but love and, and uh, I'm just so grateful. So, yes, sir. Uh, Ryan Karchi. Hey, Jay. First off, how's your sister doing? Um, you know what? She's uh, she, she's alive. And um, that's that's all we can ask for. Um, she, she's someone that I really uh, hold dear to my heart. And um, the fact that she's uh, breathing and I'm, I'm, she's able to, to watch my, my pro day on, on the TV and see it, um, it means more than the world um, because um, there was a point that I didn't know if she was going to, you know, if we, we, she would even see this day. So she, she's doing very well and, and she's going to keep on getting better. So thank you. Yeah, glad to hear it. Uh, when you made the decision to, to opt out of the season, was there anything in particular you, you feel like you were able to work on that maybe you wouldn't have necessarily had the time to work on had you stayed with USC and played out the season? Um, yeah, in terms of it, it's just, uh, you know, you're a pro now and uh, you're, you're no longer having uh, people telling you what to do. You're doing it yourself. And um, I was really able to find that uh, and find that quick. And uh, I was throughout, they have schedules that things that we do. And um, I was able to find a routine and, and keep on it. And in terms of that, like at PT, um, I've been keying in more on my core because I remember my coach telling me, Jay, if, if you don't get tired, you're going to make more plays than you can imagine. And I really was keyed in on that and watching guys like Aaron Donald and what they do. Um, I was able to start my core routine and really up it up every, every day and throughout the week and throughout the month. And as it became a religion in everything I did and it became um, who I am. So, um, yeah, so that, that's something that I was able to really to, the, to up my game and, and, and keep me on, on top of everything, knowing that I know that I'm the only person uh, doing this and I'm gonna keep on doing it because I know I see the results and, and I see um, how, how it's benefiting me and how it's gonna show. So I'm really grateful. We'll go to Adam Grossbard. Jay, what was, I guess, the weirdest or hardest part about having to watch the team play this season from afar? Uh, probably just the weirdest part is, is just realizing that, you know, you're no longer um, on the on the field and, uh, you know, you're not, you are still, you're not no longer part of the team, but now you're a fan. And uh, that, that's probably the weirdest part, you know, just being a year out of it. But in terms of it, it watching those guys and, and the way they, they, they play and, and especially the young guys, I'm so grateful because knowing that they would have had the opportunity um, if, you know, if I never was able to go out and, uh, uh, you know, and this having this happen. So I'm just happy because I'm I, I'm not I'm not really greedy. I take uh, everything that I have. And um, in terms of that, um, I, I really uh, I, I love uh, I love um I love what I do and seeing these younger guys and seeing how passionate they are about the game. It makes me so happy because I know that USC is in good hands. Uh, shotgun Spratling. Hey Jay, have you talked to any teams yet? Uh, you know, just going into this pro day and if you have, are they concerned with the time away from football that you've had? Uh, I have talked to teams and, uh, in uh, in, in reality, they, they are because uh, we we go over uh, everything in terms of film and and all the way to to just talking about uh, who I am as a person and and they basically know um, they trust the people that that they're interviewing and they they say nothing but good things and and it just it it, it just uh, it, it comes back to who I am and uh, what I what I represent and and the type of player I am on the field. And uh, being away from a year it didn't really take away that. It just made me better. And uh, they, they realized how, uh, how more, um, how I've grown uh, and, and become a pro. So it's, it's, I'm really grateful. Uh, we'll go back to Ryan Young. Hey, did you get any feedback from the NFL about kind of uh, where they project you at, and or do you have a, a hope in mind of, of where you might go in the draft? Uh, to be honest, I just, I just, I don't really look at uh, those mock drafts and, and um, all those things in terms of, because I know what I can do 
and and I know that wherever I go, I'm gonna um, help that team tremendously. And in and, and result, I'm gonna be great. And that's gonna help me show who I am. So I know that if I get drafted in the third, seventh round, all I need is a chance to prove who I am. And, and that's, 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 that's about it. We have a follow-up from Shotgun. Jay, watching from afar, what did you think of Marlon Tupelotu's season, and, and where do you think he improved over this year? Oh, I think Marlon is a beast. I mean, he's he's always been a beast since uh, we stepped on campus. I've always looked up to that man. And uh, he finally um, put everything together and showed who he truly was this season. And um, I got I wish nothing but the best for Marlon. I know that he's going to go into the league and dominate. And hopefully one day, we, you know, we end up on the same team and, and – uh, yeah, he's he's a, he's a he's a he's just a great man. He's uh, he's a beast. So yeah. Jay, do you, do you think you would have improved your stock had you participated in this season? Uh, and and most likely, I mean, we'll never know to be honest. Um, but I know that I would have done uh some amazing things with my team. And uh, we could have done uh, a lot, but in 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 the end result, I don't uh, regret what I chose, and and I'm so grateful for the opportunity that was given to me, and I took it by uh by the hand, and I never let it go. So, yeah. Okay, Ryan Abraham, you're up. Hey Jay, uh, sometimes we see guys out at the pro day, and their bodies look completely different after you've had a long time with not working out with the team during the season. How has your body changed since the last time uh, we saw you out in the practice field? Uh, my body has changed uh, tremendously um, in terms of uh, just because um, I knew what I wanted to do. And, and I, 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 I uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all about work and I don't really say that much. I just put my head down and I work and um, my body will speak for itself. When you when you just look at it, you could tell that this man is uh, he loves what he does and um, he's, he's able to take it to another level. And that's what it's all about is, is finding yourself to separate yourself from other people. And I know that the things that I'm doing and, and the way my body looks is just a testament to the how, how hard I work. So. Doc, can you add another question? Yeah, Jay, just, just listening to you talk to us, you know, I, I, it sounds like you've matured a lot. Uh, I'm sure the, the family situation helped, uh, forced you to mature a little bit as well. Where have you seen – just maturity in yourself from, you know, last time we saw you on the field to now? Uh, in terms of that, it's just everything I do. Um, it's, it's, it's no longer, uh, I'm, I'm a college kid, uh, you know, playing uh, college football. It's, uh, I'm an NFL football player. And it's, it, it, that really hit me when, when I signed and uh, I came on. And um, from that point on, I knew that what I had to do and, um just being able to have the great facilities, the great people around you. And, um, you know, within that, that's just, that's enough for me to just uh, want to just become uh, the best at what I do. And um, I want to, to prove that, to prove that. And, and, and also just, um, you know, you, you have, uh, you have a lot of things that, that, that happen and it's, it's what in your life and it's what you do to, to, to come back from that. And um, I want to show that, uh, in, a, in a way that I've matured in that way and, and everything that I do, I matured from a football aspect all the way to, to just a personal aspect. Uh, Ryan Young, you have another question? Yeah, uh, in terms of Pro Day this week, Jay, what, what events or what testing in particular are you hoping to really open some eyes with? Uh, every one of them, every, every, every one of every event. So I'm doing everything and, and I wanna show that, um, you know, I, I left for a year and I'm, I'm stronger and I'm faster and, and I'm, I'm basically a new, a new person in, in, in everything that I do. And I just want to um, show people that uh, I, I wasn't just sitting on my butt for a year. I actually was, was uh, putting in the work, more work than, than, uh, than a lot of people could expect. And, and that's just a testament to who I am. And um, so, yeah. Is, is there one area you think you might surprise people? Uh, probably, uh, I'll be honest, uh, there's, there's a lot of events that I hope to to just uh, to to make people happy and uh, just you know just uh, I just I know what I I'm, I'm capable of and and um, I mean you'll you'll watch it for yourself on on the 24th so good stuff thank you.
Okay, uh, we'll go a couple more questions here. Eric McKinney. Jay, lo looking back at your time at USC, wh what are some things that kind of stand out in, in terms of memories, game games or plays or, or experiences? Um, I guess my most, uh, my experience uh, that came away with it is uh, probably my first year I'm at SC is uh, the year I redshirted um, because that was the year that I really learned how to work and uh, and I, I matured in the way that um, really blossomed me for the, my next two years. And um, having that that experience and, and being able to work every day, knowing that I wasn't going to be playing a game and uh, knowing that the offensive linemen, they, they, they um, in terms of it, they they depended on my on me and how I how I practice every week, and um, knowing that and just the season we had that year and going winning the Pac-12 championship and uh, going to the Cotton Bowl, and then at the end of the year, I mean, my greatest award that I walked out of USC was uh, being the Scout Team Player of the Year that year. Um, that's that's something that I that I hold very hard to my head because that's who I am. Um, I work hard and I don't I, I don't say anything, but I lead by example in, in what I do. So. Okay, last call for a question for Jay. Okay, Jay, I don't see any more questions. You did a great job. Thank you very, very much for joining us. We wish you the best of luck, not only Wednesday, but uh, in your future career. Uh, you've been a great Trojan and uh, uh, best of luck to you. Yes, sir. Thank you all so much for your time. Fight on. Okay, uh, we'll let you go, Jay. And uh, in a minute here, we'll bring on uh, Elijah Griffin. Uh, so let us uh, take a minute to uh, uh, stop the recording and get it recorded again, and then we'll bring Elijah on.